In addition to the traffic signal, a typical ramp meter design includes detector loops that feed information to the ramp meter controller, monitor the level of traffic, and detect gaps in the traffic stream. Loops are also installed on the on-ramp to monitor on-ramp traffic. Finally, an end-of-queue loop is placed at the entrance of the on-ramp to prevent backups onto local streets by releasing the queue when the ramp fills to capacity. The metering rate varies and depends on a combination of the level of congestion on the freeway and the number of vehicles waiting on the ramp. So why meter traffic? Experience with ramp meters in the Bay Area and elsewhere in the country has shown safety, travel time, speed, throughput, and environmental benefits. Ramp metering smooths out the flow of traffic by balancing conflicting traffic demands. A smoother traffic flow is safer. With less merging and weaving traffic, collisions are reduced by up to 50%. Reduced congestion also improves air quality. And adjacent city streets benefit as well because fewer drivers seek alternate routes.